we're going to take just a quick look here at how to adjust a brim that has a problem when you put it on. The brim looks fine like this hat when uh, when the hat is taken off, but when the hat is put on you looked uh, have a, this horrific uh, bend in the hat. So how do we take care of that? What's the cause of this problem and uh, how do we fix it? Uh, as you can see in this gentleman, he's, he's put the hat on, it looks terrible. When he takes the hat off, it looks just normal. So uh, how do we get rid of that? And how do we cause, uh, make that, uh, adjust that uh, setting easily with some tools at home? And uh, uh, quickly, uh, let's just take a look at that. First of all, let's get some tools. Uh, we're just going to need some standard tools. Uh, as you can see here in the picture, a spray bottle. Uh, I've got uh, a piece of wood here, flat piece of wood. You can use uh, books. You can use anything that really that fla it's flat. Uh, I like this little curve here that helps me get closer in on the hat. But uh, really, it doesn't really matter what you use. It really is some basic tools. Nothing, nothing real, uh, real uh, fancy will do it, the job for you. So here we go. We've got um, we've got our tools put together. And we're going to start using. First of all, we take a piece, some take some tape, and we tape down the front of the hat, as you can see here. We tape down the front, and then we uh, do the same towards the back. But when we do it on the back, we're going to, or the front, either way. You start with one end, you go to the other, uh, tape it down, but then you pull it snug. You pull it snug. Actually, pull it about uh, uh, about uh, almost an inch. Just watch the brim, how it buckles. Just more or less how it buckles when it's on your head. Just more or less because it's not going to buckle quite the same with the flat table underneath. Uh, but you'll see here on the sides that uh, you'll start getting, when you start pulling on it, you'll get maybe some buckle right here in the front because you're pulling on it tight here. So you're going to get a buckle right here. And uh, you're going to get a buckle right here on the side. Probably this wants to buckle downwards here because I am pulling this hat pretty pretty far. Um, anyway, so this is uh, this is buckling upwards here. It's not going to buckle exactly like it would when it's on your head because of the fact that it is uh, on the table. It's got a flat table underneath and it can't buckle downwards, so it's going to now buckle upwards in order to... Uh, uh, so it's not going to look exactly the same. But the idea here is that you're creating a long oval. You're pulling the front, you're pulling the back, and you're causing the sides to come in just a little bit. And now you're going to, while this is in this shape, you're going to spray it down with a little bit of water. Just take your spray bottle and spray it down. And then uh, grab uh, something flat and lay it down on there, like you uh, can see here in the picture. Uh, we've got uh, our forms laid flat, firmly onto the brim, and uh, then we're going to just simply add some weight onto those. You can use just about anything. Uh, we've just got some canned foods here. Just we're just using some basic stuff like you would use in your own house. Uh, nothing fancy. Just uh, and you can see here in this particular. Uh, instance we've got uh, some buckling done here on the brim right here that we can't quite reach with our forms uh, because they're just not quite long enough they just don't quite reach but we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it just like this we're gonna let it let it flatten out you may need more weight you may need less it just depends on each one just kind of keep it even and make sure you're on a real nice flat surface and uh, that will uh, pretty much do it for you now we're going to uh, take a, a quick look at this uh, this buckle right here in the front of the hat that uh, that uh, we couldn't reach with our with our, our forms that we've got here, so we're going to to take these off. And as we take it off, you can see that the buckle has already already uh, readjusted itself. What happened with this is the the water loosens up the water-based stiffener that is in the hat and allows these straws to re uh, reposition themselves so that they now take the new shape of the long oval. And uh, and so now as it starts drying, they will start stiffening into the new position. And now we're going to uh, uh, we're going to focus on this point right here. We're just going to flip our our molds here around, spray it down a little bit, and flip them around, and uh, take care of the front and the back. The back was doing a very similar situation, so we did that on the front and the back. Now, just after a very short amount of time, you will find that the uh, the brim looks very much flat even though it's still being stretched forward and back it looks very much like it did when we first when we first got uh, started now I've just done this in about uh, a period of about five minutes just to show this video so you can see I still have it um, coming up a little bit here on the sides it's still got some stress on it but the, you know what that's still fine this is st this is great this is this hat is back into position it's only been five minutes here I haven't spent hardly any time on this this happens to be a uh, a pheno uh, hat so it's easier to to work with 
so it's a little more flexible, a little more, more pliable in the hands than some of the coarser woven hats. And so now we have a, a new uh, longer oval uh, hat. Uh, this particular hat, I don't have any bands on it. You can do it with, even though you have the bands on it, that's really not going to make any difference. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that has now fixed the problem of, uh, of the long oval for this hat. You can see this is what it was in the problem in the beginning, but uh, now that we have it all flattened out, it uh, is back to normal.